Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2023 Toyota Highlander, we're gonna be taking a look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Mountain Bike Rack. First impressions of the rack on the back of the Highlander, I think it's a good fit. You know, this is uh, uh, kind of Thule's tried and true bike rack. A lot of people like these. It kind of has a timeless design to it, you know, and uh, one thing I noticed is I like where it sits in relation to the back window on the Highlander. So it's gonna be about level with the bottom of the glass. So whenever you have your bikes up here, you know, you're still gonna have some visibility when you're looking out of your rear view. You know, you're not gonna have uh, complete obstruction there. So uh, definitely a plus there. This rack is gonna be capable of holding up to four bikes. So you can really uh, carry a lot around with you. And let's just take a look at uh, how it's gonna hold, hold your bike down. So there's three straps here. You have two on the top tube and then a strap down here, which what this is gonna do is help eliminate sway or that side to side movement. Um, that way your bikes aren't swinging into each other, you know, kind of clanking into each other, but uh, we'll go ahead and pull this off. So straps just pop right off of there. And something I like about this setup, I feel like the arms are about perfect width. You know what I mean? They're wide enough to, to kind of have a big, a large footprint and keep your bike stable but not so wide that it makes it a pain trying to get it off. Some of them are so wide, you can't hardly work the bike off. So it's not really the case with this one, comes off uh, pretty easily. The cradles here where your bike's frame is gonna sit, uh, they're relatively tall, pretty wide, a lot of different bikes uh, should fit in there. You know, there's some grooves for your cables to pass through. And this is made almost from a, a, a soft plastic or a hard rubber, so it shouldn't scratch anything up. Uh, one of the things that does separate this rack from some of the others, and I'm actually pretty impressed with them, are the straps. So these things are super thick, very heavy duty. We use this rack almost on a daily basis, putting it on different vehicles. Um, and these things just do not wear out really. So for the average person, um, you know, these will probably last for quite some time, probably never have to replace them. That's not the case with some of the others. Some of the other racks, are, these are just kind of cheap and flimsy. But uh, I do suggest just putting them back in place and keeping everything organized whenever you're not using the rack. Whenever you have the rack on your Highlander, it's gonna make your whole vehicle longer, right? And so uh, maybe if you wanna load your bikes up the night before, park in your garage, be able to go ride in first thing in the morning, um, I'll give you a measurement to see if it'll fit. So. From the back hatch here to the very end, that is going to be about 41 inches. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. The arms do fold down though, whenever you're not using the rack uh, to, to free up some space. And so you're going to have a, a pin and clip here. Pretty straightforward stuff. This will pull out. You can swing these on down, definitely pin it back. And now you freed up quite a bit of room, right? So I'll take that same measurement and from the hatch to the edge of the rack, looks like it's only gonna add about 20 inches. One of the questions a lot of people wonder is if you're still gonna be able to get into the back of your Toyota when you have the bike rack installed. And the answer is yes, uh, when it's unloaded. If it's loaded up, you can't fold this down, but like this, you can. Your pen and clip, pull it out. And this one comes way down. A lot of the others don't come nearly this far down. So this one gives you a lot of space to be able to, uh, you know, open up your rear hatch and get whatever you might need. And then out of the back. Moving down here, the rack is gonna work with the two inch by two inch uh, hitches, like the one we have here today on our Highlander. You can also work with the smaller inch and a quarter hitches. So if you got another vehicle in the household uh, with that size hitch, chances are pretty good it'll work. It's gonna come with an anti-rattle bolt as well. So what this is gonna do is eliminate any slop or play there in the connection point and uh, prevent it from kind of clunking around. So it'll really help maintain, you know, that quiet Highlander ride. Uh, to give you an example of that though, let's say if we're going down the road, hitting some bumps, you can see that this is gonna move with our SUV and not on its own. Other than that, uh, you know, if you're looking for a hanging style bike rack that is really simple to use, uh, and figure out, you know, these are really reliable and honestly looks pretty good on the back of the Highlander, uh, definitely one to consider. 
If you're anything like me, you always want to see what you're interested in actually working or in action. So why don't we go ahead, load up some bikes, go out on the test course and see how this does. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Hitching Post Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack on our 2023 Toyota Highlander.